Okay, so we have our first metal rhythm guitar track recorded. Now we're going to set it up for track number two. Now I'm using a plugin called Amplitube. I'm using the Engel Powerball Amp Sim. And I'm using the plugin for a specific reason here. In PreSona Studio One software, you can duplicate the track. And what that does is it carries over any plugins from that track that you're duplicating to the new track, which to me is a very cool feature. I'm sure other software has, same, has the same feature. I don't know. I haven't uh, ventured outside of Studio One from PreSonus. So, uh, you know, if it works for you, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, that type of thing. So anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pan both tracks. I'm going to take the first track I recorded. I'm going to hard pan it left. And then we're going to take the new track that we just duplicated and hard pan that right. We'll press record on the channel and we're set up for track number two. it up for the recording harmonizing metal rhythm guitar lesson. I've got to think of another name for this video. Oh well. Anyway, so I, I don't want to box us into thinking that there's just one or two ways to record your metal rhythms. I know some people layer their tracks. They'll record like, you know, multiple tracks and I, I don't really get into that sort of thing. Um, for my music, it doesn't seem necessary. But I'm not saying it does. it's not a good technique. Some people use it, it works great for them. I like to keep things very simple, so I only do two tracks and I hard pan them. I don't always harmonize my guitars. A lot of times I just play the same thing, and then every now and then, the, the, usually the guitar I record that I pan to the right, every now and then I'll bring a harmonization in with that track, so it just kind of breaks up the song a little bit. So you've got your guitars hard panned, and of course you've got the bass track up the middle, and you've got your, your lead track up the middle as well. So to me, that just brings in a very nice full sound, and then you break it up every now and then with, with the harmonizing track. So anyway, that's how I record my guitars. I've been doing that for a while now, and that's, that's also how I recorded my last album, Apocalyptic Dreams, which is, if you guys don't know, it's a, it's a metal instrumental album I released in December of 2013. So if you haven't heard that yet, please go to iTunes or Amazon and just look up my name, Jason Stallworth, or the album name Apocalyptic Dreams and, and you'll get it. But that's how I recorded all my rhythm tracks on that album. So thank you again for, uh, for your support, guys. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.